so good morning let us continue the chapter minerals okay let us continue the chapter mineral so you already know uh, uh, about macro and micro minerals is calcium phosphorus sodium potassium chloride uh, all included under macro minerals okay so you have already seen normal range of calcium that is 9 to 11 milligram per dl so maintenance of 9 to 11 milligram per dl that is blood calcium level is very important okay so uh, uh, you know the functions of calcium also so what are the functions they are absolutely required for the formation of bone and teeth okay uh, 99 percent of the calcium is stored in the bone okay that is the importance of calcium so you already seen this slide okay remember last class you already seen this slide this is uh, this is homeostasis of calcium what is the meaning of this homeostasis of calcium is as you know serum or blood calcium level is 9 to 11 milligram per deciliter that need to be maintained how to maintain this okay that comes under this homeostasis of calcium how to maintain serum calcium level there are many factors calcitriol parathormon and calcitonin so remember calcitriol and parathormon which increase serum calcium level okay they deposit the calcium to the bone the they increase the reabsorption of the calcium and all but calcitonin which decrease the serum calcium level so calcitonin is hypocalcemic hypo means which decrease the calcium level which helps to decrease calcium level so uh, so these are the three hormones which comes uh, under calcium homeostasis so student remember five mass question calcium homeostasis so as uh, this is already over calcitriol has hy hypercalcemic effect what is the meaning of hypercalcemic effect which increase the serum calcium level so what is the uh, calcitriol you know active form of vitamin d 125 dihydroxycholecalciferol so it act on the ki intestine kidney and bone intestine induces the synthesis of cal binding protein thereby which increases absorption of cal binding protein increases absorption of calcium this is also over kidney what is the effect of kidney calcitriol enhances the reabsorption of calcium thereby it indirectly it increase serum calcium level uh, action of calcitriol on bone it enhances osteoblastic activity what are osteoblast and osteoclast these are two bone cells okay bone cells so vitamin d enhances osteoblastic activity of bones and thus promote calcification of bone okay so it also causes bone resorption during hypocalcemia in order to maintain blood calcium level so this also you have seen action of parathormone okay which is again hypercalcemic okay so it uh, it increases serum calcium level by demineralization of bone okay what is the meaning of demineralization so removing the calcium from the bone it also increases calcium reabsorption by renal tubules it increases intestinal absorption of calcium by promoting synthesis of calcitriol okay that is the indirect action okay so uh, this is the about the action of vitamin d this is calcitriol and parathormone now let us see the action of calcitonin as i already told calcitonin is hypocalcemic okay means it lowers the serum calcium level okay uh, so uh, how calcitonin lowers serum calcium level 
by calcification of the bone osteoblast effect it deposits the calcium to the bone and it increases the excretion of calcium in urine so more and more calcium get come out through urine so serum calcium level decreases and more and more calcium is deposited to bone by the action of calcitonin so that serum calcium level decreases so student remember calcium homeostasis is five mass question so you have to write about parathormone and calcitriol action both are hypercalcemic also you have to tell about calcitonin which lowers serum calcium level so that finally blood calcium level that is 9 to 11 mg is maintained okay what are the disorders of calcium metabolism hypocalcemia plasma calcium level below 9 mg is hypocalcemia causes vitamin d deficiency that is calcitriol deficiency hypoparathyroidism because uh, uh, hypoparathyroidism means less secretion of parathormone because parathormone which increases serum calcium level so in the absence there is a decrease in the serum calcium level so accidental or surgical removal of parathyroid gland because uh, while taking thyroidectomy removing thyroid gland is a big one accidentally there is a chance of surgical removal of parathyroid gland so if parathyroid gland removes what is the meaning parathyroid gland secretes parathormone which is required for calcium homeostasis parathormone increases serum calcium level so this is a dangerous condition if parathyroid if thyroid gland removed we can give tablets which is cheaper one or uh, we can uh, sometimes uh, somehow we can maintain uh, patient life but if you remove parathyroid gland if it stops secreting parathormone uh, uh, what happens there is a hypocalcemic tetany okay Mus muscular spasm involuntary con control of muscles and all occurs so difficult to survive that is the important of para parathyroid gland and parathormone okay steatorrhea third one cause for hypocalcemia this is increases excretion of fat steatorrhea means okay uh, indigestion of fat and increase excretion of fat in the stool okay uh, there is there is a problem in the absorption the meaning is chronic renal disease because reabsorption of calcium is affected these are the causes of hypocalcemia and uh, this is the one of the important thing hypocalcemic tetany okay tetany means muscular spasm a stiffness of the muscle involuntary con control to the muscle uh, this one movement of the uh, uh, related parts okay so see calcium 9 to 11 normal calcium less than 8.5 is mild tremor when we call it as proper tetany typical tetany if calcium level is less than 7.5 milligram we call it as if calcium level is less less than 7.5 then we call it as typical tetany so the accidental removal of parathyroid gland autoimmune diseases what are the meaning of what is the meaning of autoimmune disease uh, our own uh, immune mechanism uh, defense against our own cells it treat our own cells as foreign part uh, foreign cells or antigen so um, it uh, our own immune system harms our own internal organs that is autoimmune disease so these are the cause of uh, tetany okay uh, when tetany occur if serum calcium level is less than 7.5 milligram per dl that is hypocalcemic tetany so symptoms uh, numbness of the extremities tightness of the spasm of the muscle spasm means involuntary control of muscle okay uh, movement and all convulsions okay trim uh, that is shaking shivering laryngeal spasm laryngeal spasm means there is a closure of laryngeal spasm means there is a chance of closure of the vocal cord during intake of food so air passage is stopped 
okay what happens if air passage stops there is no oxygen supply to the lungs okay so that is laryngeal spasm may lead to death it is dangerous chalkstick sign and trachea sign will be positive these are the two uh, medical terms we used we will see in brief that one but you should you should remember that chalkstick chalk streak sign and trachea sign uh, is positive in this case of hypocalcemic tetany okay so hypercalcemia when blood calcium level is above uh, 11 mg hyperparathyroidism hyperactivity of parathyroid gland means increases secretion of pth hypervitaminosis d symptoms renal calculi because increased excretion of calcium lead to calcium stone calcium oxalate stone ectopic calcification of urinary bladder pancreas bone deformities all things occur in increased serum calcium main cause is hyperparathyroidism and hypervitaminosis c so these are the uh, signs what we uh, what i told you uh, toxic uh, sign is twist of the facial muscle this is this slide is not required just for your information remember no need to take down so uh, twist twitch of the facial muscle followed following gentle tapping over facial nerve in front of the ear that indicate hyper irritability of the facial nerve okay if a uh, patient with hypocalcemic tetany you just tap the facial uh, uh, face gentle tapping over the facial nerve suddenly lips also turn same side without uh, person knowledge that is the meaning okay in normal case if we tap our facial nerve nothing will happen but this these persons uh, face or lip also turn to same side there is a twitching what we call that is the one so one more this also no need to take just to you read it that is enough induction of carpopedal spasm okay again in want involuntary control of the muscles in the carpal feet and all by infl inflating the sphygmomanometer means bp apparatus above uh, uh, sbp for 3 minutes so carpopedal spasm spasm is char uh, characterized by adduction of the thumb flexion on the meta carpo pharyngeal joint extension of the inter pharyngeal joint flexion of the wrist so toxic sign contraction of the isolateral facial muscles elicited by tapping the facial nerve as i told you response twitching of the lips to spasm of all facial nerve this slide is not required just for your information so uh, okay and this is the involuntary control okay he said so there is the one now let us see about phosphorus okay so uh, adult body has about 1 kg of phosphorus and about 85% of this is present in combination with calcium in the bones and teeth remaining 15% is distributed various uh, chemical compounds of the body so utilization of phosphorus is closely associated with calcium okay so calcium and phosphorus is associated so milk is the good source egg fish uh, even oil seeds also good source rda for adult 800 mg children 1000 mg per day Uh, pregnancy and lactation required 1200 mg per day normal serum calcium level for adult is uh, sorry serum phosphorus level for adult is 3 to 4 mg per dl for children 5 to 6 mg per dl so good source of phosphorus is milk and oil seeds and all rda 800 mg for phosphorus children and lactation children 1000 mg per day lactating Uh, women and pregnancy required 1200 mg per day okay phosphorus uh, absorption phosphate abs absorption occurs in jejunum calcitriol vitamin d increases phosphorus absorption 
acidity favors while phytates decreases phosphate intake by in intestinal cell phytate means which is present in green leafy vegetable so absorption of calcium phosphorus is optimum when dietary calcium phosphorus is between 1 to 2 to and 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1 as present in the milk that is the reason milk is the good source of calcium okay so phosphorus is mainly stored in bone teeth and muscle so compared to calcium phosphorus is less asked question but you should know that calcium and phosphorus linked okay their level is maintained 3 to 4 milligram is phosphorus 9 to 11 milligram is uh, uh, calcium normal range okay so phosphorus again is required for the formation of bone and teeth production of high energy phosphate wherever phosphate is there adenosine triphosphate cytosine triphosphate guanosine triphosphate all triphosphate means phosphorus is there synthesis of nucleoside coenzymes nad nadp you have already seen diphosphate nucleotide wherever nucleotide is there phosphate group is there dna and rna synthesis also for phosphodiester linkage phosph phosphorus is required for formation of phosphate esters glucose 6 phosphate wherever phosphate is there phosphate phosphorus is required formation of phosphoprotein casein is a milk protein which is a phosphoprotein okay uh, activation of uh, enzymes by phosphorylation phosphorylation means addition of phosphate group phosphate buffer system also in the blood phosphate is there these are the some of the functions of phosphate so okay so clinical hypophosphatemia where a serum phosphorus level decreases less than 3 mg deficiency of vitamin d because vitamin again like calcium phosphorus uh, 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 to increase the serum phosphorus level vitamin d is required calcitriol hyperparathyroidism okay that that also one of the cause for hypophosphatemia okay hypoparathyroidism causes uh, 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 hypoparathyroidism means uh, uh, increased uh, parata secretion of parathormone hyperphosphatemia means increased serum phosphorus level more than 4 mg 3 to 4 mg is normal in adult if it is more than 3 mg means uh, uh, more than 4 mg means cause is hypervitaminosis d increase in the vitamin d level hypoparathyroidism decrease in the pth parathormone or renal failure why renal failure Re, uh, there is a decreased reabsorption of phosphorus occurs kidney absorptive uh, function is one of the main function of kidney okay so that is all about phosphorus